A prince bishop is a bishop who is also the civil ruler of some secular principality and sovereignty. Thus the principality or prince bishopric ruled politically by a prince bishop could wholly or largely overlap with his diocesan jurisdiction, since some parts of his diocese, even the city of his residence, could be exempt from his civil rule, obtaining the status of free imperial city. If the episcopal see is an archbishopric, the correct term is prince archbishop, the equivalent in the regular monastic clergy is prince abbot. A prince bishop is usually considered an elected monarch. In the West, with the decline of imperial power from the 4th century onwards in the face of the barbarian invasions, sometimes Christian bishops of cities took the place of the Roman commander, made secular decisions for the city and led their own troops when necessary. Later relations between a prince-bishop and the burghers were invariably not cordial. As cities demanded charters from emperors, kings, or their prince-bishops and declared themselves independent of the secular territorial magnates, friction intensified between burghers and bishops. In the Byzantine Empire, the still autocratic emperors passed general legal measures assigning all bishops certain rights and duties in the secular administration of their dioceses, but that was part of a Caesaropapist development putting the Eastern Church in the service of the empire, with its ecumenical patriarch almost reduced to the emperor's minister of religious affairs. <laughs> Holy Roman Empire Bishops had been involved in the government of the Frankish realm and subsequent Carolingian Empire frequently as the clerical member of a duo of envoys styled Mrs. Dominicus, but that was an individual mandate, not attached to the see. Prince bishoprics were most common in the feudally fragmented Holy Roman Empire, where many were formally awarded the rank of an imperial prince Reichsfirst, granting them the immediate power over a certain territory and a representation in the imperial diet Reichstag. The stem duchies of the German kingdom inside the empire had strong and powerful dukes originally, war rulers, always looking out more for their duchies' national interest than for the empire's. In turn the first Ottonian Saxon King Henry the Fowler and more so his son, Emperor Otto I, intended to weaken the power of the dukes by granting loyal bishops imperial lands and vest them with regalia privileges. Unlike dukes they could not pass hereditary titles and lands to any descendants. Instead the emperors reserved the implementation of the bishops of their proprietary church for themselves, defying the fact that according to canon law they were part of the transnational Catholic Church. This met with increasing opposition by the popes, culminating in the fierce investiture controversy of 1076. Nevertheless, the emperors continued to grant major territories to the most important archbishops. The immediate territory attached to the episcopal see then became a prince diocese or bishopric first bistum. The German term Hochstift was often used to denote the form of secular authority held by bishops ruling a prince bishopric with Urs Stift being used for prince archbishoprics. Emperor Charles IV by the Golden Bull of 1356 confirmed the privileged status of the prince archbishoprics of Mainz, Cologne and Trier as members of the Electoral College. At the eve of the Protestant Reformation, the imperial states comprised 53 ecclesiastical principalities. They were finally secularized in the 1803 German mediatization upon the territorial losses to France in the Treaty of Luneville, except for the Mainz Prince Archbishop and German Archchancellor Karl Theodor Anton Maria von Dalberg, who continued to rule as Prince of Aschaffenburg and Regensburg. With the dissolution of the Holy Roman Empire in 1806, the title finally became defunct. However, in some countries outside of French control, such as in the Austrian Empire Salzburg, Setzkau, and Olomouc and the Kingdom of Prussia Breslau, the institution nominally continued, and in some cases was revived, a new, titular type arose. No less than three of the originally only seven prince electors, the highest order of Reichsfürsten comparable in rank with the French pairs, were prince archbishops, each holding the title of archchancellor the only arch office amongst them for a part of the empire, given the higher importance of an electorate, their principalities were known as Kurfürstentum, electoral principality, rather than prince archbishoprics. The suffragan bishoprics of Gurk established 1070, Kimsey 1216, Setzkau 1218, and Levant 1225 sometimes used the first bischof title, but never held any Reichsfrei territory. The bishops of Vienna established 1469, and Wiener Neustadt 1469 to 1785 didn't control any territory, nor did they claim a princely title. <laughs> 
Topic: <laughs> State of the Teutonic Order. Upon the incorporation of the Livonian Brothers of the Sword in 1237, the territory of the order's state largely corresponded with the Diocese of Riga. Bishop Albert of Riga in 1207 had received the lands of Livonia as an imperial fief from the hands of German King Philip of Swabia, he however had to come to terms with the Brothers of the Sword. At the behest of Pope Innocent III the Terra Mariana Confederation was established, whereby Albert had to cede large parts of the episcopal territory to the Livonian order. Albert proceeded tactically in the conflict between the papacy and Emperor Frederick II. In 1225, he reached the acknowledgement of his status as a prince bishop of the empire, though the Roman Curia insisted on the fact that the Christianized Baltic territories were solely under the suzerainty of the Holy See. By the 1234 Bull of Rethi, Pope Gregory IX stated that all lands acquired by the Teutonic Knights were no subject of any conveyancing by the emperor. Within this larger conflict, the continued dualism of the autonomous Riga Prince Bishop and the Teutonic Knights led to a lengthy friction. Around 1245, the papal legate William of Modena reached a compromise, though incorporated into the order's state. The archdiocese and its suffragan bishoprics were acknowledged with their autonomous ecclesiastical territories by the Teutonic Knights. The bishops pursued the conferment of the princely title by the Holy Roman Emperor to stress their sovereignty. In the original Prussian lands of the Teutonic Order, Willem of Modena established the suffragan bishoprics of Kulm, Pomasanya, Samland and Warmia. From the late 13th century onwards, the appointed Warmia bishops were no longer members of the Teutonic Knights, a special status confirmed by the bestowal of the princely title by Emperor Charles IV in 1356. <laughs> Elsewhere. England The bishops of Durham were also territorial prince bishops, with the extraordinary secular rank of Earl Palatine, for it was their duty not only to be head of the large diocese, but also to help protect the kingdom against the Scottish threat from the north. The title survived the union of England and Scotland into the Kingdom of Great Britain in 1707 until 1836. France Apart from territories formerly within the Holy Roman Empire, no French diocese had a principality of political significance linked to its see. However, a number of French bishops did hold a noble title, with a tiny territory usually about their seat, it was often a princely title, especially count. Indeed, six of the twelve original parries the royal vassals awarded with the highest precedence at court were episcopal, the Archbishop of Reims, the Bishop of Langres, and the Bishop of Laon held a ducal title, the bishops of Beauvais, Chalon, and Noyon had comital status. They were later joined by the Archbishop of Paris, who was awarded a ducal title, but with precedence over the others. Montenegro. The bishops of Cetigny, Montenegro, who took the place of the earlier secular Grand Voivodes in 1516 had a unique position of Slavonic, Orthodox prince bishops of Montenegro under Ottoman suzerainty. They actually became the secularized, hereditary princes and ultimately kings of Montenegro in 1852, as reflected in their styles. First Vladika i Upravitel Crne Gor i Berda, Bishop and Ruler of Montenegro and the Highlands. From the 13th of March 1852, new style. Po milosti bozjaj kanjaz i gospodar crne gor i berda. By the grace of God, Prince and Sovereign of Montenegro and the Highlands. From the 28th of August 1910, new style. Po milosti bozjaj kralj i gospodar crne gor. By the grace of God, King and Sovereign of Montenegro. Portugal From 1472 to 1967, the Bishop of Coimbra held the comital title of Count of Arganel, being thus called Bishop Count Portuguese, Bispo Conde. The comital title is still held de jure, but since Portugal is a republic and nobility privileges are abolished, its use declined during the 20th century. Topic. 
Beyond Catholic feudalism While one might expect that the Protestant schism, Counter-Reformation and more modern regimes than the traditional feudal principality would have eradicated the prince-bishopric, this was not quite the case. Even when the true prince archbishoprics disappeared from the map of Europe as it was redrawn by Napoleon I Bonaparte who caused the end of the Holy Roman Empire and the Congress of Vienna after his defeat, the title found a new, titular use. In the Habsburg dynasty's new empire, the Danubian double monarchy of Austria-Hungary, reduced to the parts south of Prussia's German sphere of dominance that would become the largely Protestant German Empire, actual territorial power was no longer held by the bishops, but the status of first ERZ bischof was maintained, and could be given a similar political role in the more modern, almost standardized Cisleithanian provincial level, the Kronland crown land, as ex officio members of its Landtag, the representative and legislative assembly, often with virile stimmy, while other bishops could collectively be represented as a prelate's bench, an elected curie. The emperors of Austria now bestowed the title upon bishops even without any feudal principality, but as a princely style and rank as had been usual for centuries with secular noble titles of peerage ranks awarded to episcopal sees, carrying the privilege of a seat in the estates, e.g., for the Bishop of Liebach as a consolation prize for the sees loss of metropolitan rank to Gores, the Archbishop of Vienna probably due to Vienna's rank as imperial residence and for the Archbishop of Estergom here reflecting his long-standing role as the first magnate of Hungary. Topic: Special cases. The ultimate prince bishop is the bishop of Rome, i.e., the Pope, universal head, supreme pontiff of the Roman Catholic Church. His claims to territorial power were bolstered by the forged early medieval document donation of Constantine, and the authentic donation of Pepin, establishing the Patrimonium Petri which was further extended as the powerful Papal States. Pope Pius IX was the last of the true, sovereign prince bishops, divested of territorial powers when the papacy was forced to surrender the rule of Rome in 1870 to the United Kingdom of Italy, which was supported by liberal nationalists. The Pope however regained sovereign power over Vatican City in 1929 after successful negotiations with the Italian government under Benito Mussolini, leading to the Lateran treaties. The Catalan Bishop of Urgil, who no longer has any secular rights in Spain, remains one of two co-princes of Andorra, along with the French head of state currently its president. See also Crown Cardinal Lord Bishop Political Catholicism Prince Abbot Prince Provost Prince of the Church Temporal Power <laughs>